Hey everyone, Brittany here with Frost Fund. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I wanted to take a few minutes as usual to give you guys some encouragement, some godly perspective that I feel he's put on my heart and that as he does, I think is really important to share. This world we're living in is getting crazier by the day, but we also have a constant God who is with us, who is for us. And if we choose to follow him is a very present help in our lives. And so I just wanted to take five minutes, six minutes max and share with you guys a reflection that I've written. I try to take a little time every morning and read in my Bible and pray and just get my mind right before I go about the many things I have to do in the day, just like you guys. So here's what I had to write. This verse, uh, the prompting comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. And so the verse, you, you may have heard it before, but it says, be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be brave, be strong, be loving in everything you do. Now, before I continue on with what I wrote and what I thought I wanted to share with you guys today, I have a question for you. How often are you loving in everything you do? And maybe to answer that question, the first question you should ask yourself is, what does being loving mean to you? It might be a little bit different for everyone, but there is a biblical loving that I think I at least ground myself in or try to. I am not perfect by any means. And so this is what I had to share. I think being loving is so underrated these days. The songs we hear, the competition in work, the survival mode many of us are in doesn't always allow room for love. And love stems from joy, from confidence, from patience, from kindness. I have found it also stems from surrender and understanding how much God loved us that he would create us and then send his son to die for us. When you really wrap your head around this, you can feel a love the world cannot offer. But this understanding requires us to also trust, just like an earthly love does. And Jesus, instruct, and Jesus instructs us not to sit and be idle in this love, but to do the opposite, to guard it, to be strong in it, to stand firm in it, and to be brave as we do so. And as we are receiving this love, we must also give it in everything we do. Love is not some cute idea that always gives butterflies in ease. Sometimes it means going to war against anything that opposes God's love in this world or our ability to show this love to the world. That can mean everything from our own thoughts, temptations, and the stress that so easily distracts us each day. To be loving in all we do, we must first feel love from Jesus and then be brave enough to stand firm in this love so that, to, so that others might also see and experience this love for themselves. We must guard it in our own hearts so that we can be whole and filled with faith for others. The way I see it, love is a weapon. And like all weapons, we must train ourselves and practice the godly way to use it. I want the go to war kind of love talked about in the Bible, not the what feels good kind that changes with the seasons and the trends here on earth. So that's what I had to write. And just to kind of sum up a little more of my personal thoughts on that. It's hard to be loving in everything we do, right? Maybe it's easier with some people or some situations than others, but God doesn't call us to pick and choose. He calls us to be love. And that doesn't mean that we're going to be perfect. And here's the second thing. I think a lot of times when people hear be love, they think that means just let everything go by and just, you know, high five everyone on the way, regardless of what they're doing. I don't think that's the kind of love that God instructs us to have. Yes, there's times for that, but I think love sometimes the reason it's so hard to have is because it requires us to stand firm in what we believe and what we know to be true. Just like this verse tells us, be strong, be brave, be courageous, right? And he wouldn't tell us to be courageous and to be brave if he didn't know that there were going to be some scary times, right? In order to be brave, you got to be faced with fear or some lack of faith in some way. So I just think that this verse is really powerful because so many people think that it's okay to just excuse things that are not right or injustices, injustices out of love. I don't think that's the kind of love that God calls us to have because not only does it not follow his guidance in the Bible that is supposed to give us this life and this abundance life and to help us on our way, but it also allows room, in my opinion, for wrongful patterns to be established, for little seeds of the enemy to be planted in ourselves and in others as we just kind of sit compliant in the name of love and allow things to happen. So 
before I kind of draw on with this, we're at the five minute mark. I just wanted to encourage you guys to think about today, first of all, this verse, uh, to pray about it, to think about it. What does it mean for you? I am not the expert. This is what God has put on my heart. And then secondly, to ask yourselves, am I acting in love in everything I do? And, and what does that mean exactly? And at the end of the day, the best way to find the honest truth of how that should be played out in our lives is to read the Bible, is to do research on that, not to just lean on your own understanding. Because although God can work through that, if you're not rooted in his word, and if you're not spending time trying to know him better, it could be very easily misconstrued in your mind of what might otherwise be a truth shared for us in the Bible. So I just want to share that with you guys today. I hope you have an awesome week. As always, our mission here at Frost Fund is to provide hope and resources to animals and the people protecting them. And that's you, whether you know it or not, in one way or another. So we hope this encourages you. If you liked it, please share with a friend. Have an amazing week and we'll see you guys soon.